What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to a first look over at Craftomation 101. What we have here is a much more educational version, let's say, of beloved games like Autonauts. If you like Autonauts, you're going to like this, because what we got here is another kind of crafting automation with a lot of visual code with a lot less restriction that you get with like the kilobit storage of Autonauts, at least for now. We're going to go by the demo standards here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing visual programming with tiny robots. We're going to be crafting with tiny robots. We got rockets to carry our tiny robots. And also there's a story and we got to terraform this world. So, you know, enough words. I think we've got, we've had said many a words. Why don't we let the computers and the robots do the talking? Quite frozen in here now. We are warming up the world. Let's see. What do we got? Size? All right. Pretty small, but this is just a demo, of course. I can only imagine. They got a good roadmap, I believe. We'll take a look at it after this. So, all right. It's telling me to mine two stone. 1,500 in there. Res resources are not renewable. All right. And combine two stones to make a spark. Spark. Yep. Okay. Mine coal. And combine spark and coal to make fire. Well, that makes sense. Use it on the ship. Ship defrosted, baby. Why isn't this fire defrosting the ship, though? It's fine. Drag a bonfire here. Now light a fire to unfreeze the soil. Okay, so we need to make a spark. Do this. So, you know, starts off kind of like Autonauts where you got to do stuff in the beginning by yourself, right? So it makes sense. New object, new body. Okay, combine the heads. Look at them. They are actually adorable. I do like that. I hope we can maybe customize them a bit. All right, mine. Create a coal brick with a stone and a coal. Oh, is this energy? Yep. Okay, so that's energy for the bots. Follow the on-screen highlights to make your first program. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, this is an interesting setup. We got variations, functions. Okay. So bait. none of these are open yet. Maybe we have to unlock them. All right. So find and pick a rock. Okay. Find and pick a rock. Combine. Find and pick coal. Combine. Drop two. There. Did I get it? Did I get it? These were like kind of in the way. I can move the whole code like this. Okay, and then to idle. Returns to idle state. If there's a program upon idle, it will be executed. Okay, so we have to start and end in an idle state. Noted. Execute. Minimize. All right, so now our bot over here is making sparks, then making fire, and lighting the bonfire. Okay, and that bonfire is going to keep ice melted. So, and it is depleting so it is a something we have to continuously do okay so we'll have bot set up to for bonfires and that's probably our first temporary source in order to start melting the land and keep it melted because i assume if we let that go out we're no longer going to be accessing it all right so make a brick stone in soil that makes sense okay stone and charcoal for another bonfire okay the next place it next to the frozen rocket here and what does the lines on the outside mean does that mean that's not gonna be unfrozen if i do that we'll see so underneath this rock can i take the fire from here oh i can take the fire from there nice the light that actually i'm gonna leave that there i want to see if that depletes and unfreezes yeah so that area so the inside lines are where it will thaw. I don't know why there's outside lines, but maybe there's something for that later in the game. All right, so provide stone to the command center. So, I mean, it's 15 stones, so that's actually, like, super simple. I don't even... It doesn't really even seem to be a reason to set a bot up for this, right? Like, this is way too easy. It seems like I'd spend more time setting the bot up with the code that I will and then waiting for him to complete the task and to do it myself. So we'll just do this one real quick and see what we can unlock next here. Pretty, pretty simple stuff. I do like the bots though. They're super cute. The game looks nice. I, I do like this aesthetic. 
And I do enjoy how the, the code looks here. This is uh, very different. And I don't see like a, a memory base. So it, I almost feel like it is infinite, potentially. Could be wrong, of course, but kind of got that feeling. You know what I mean? I hope I can turn off the click and the drag because like if you're trying to pick up something and you like just miss it, you drag the screen that really throws you off. All right, so click this. Ah, upgrade trees. Ooh, this is embarrassingly small, but it is a demo. I hope there's a lot more. I love tech trees, but I understand this is more of an educational base game too. So maybe keep it simple and then you can make it complicated with your own code, which is still another variable to take into consideration. So the first thing we unlock is eat. Does a crafter mate to consume an object? All right. I mean, is it going to tell me to like... Well, it's like, like, look at him. He's already out of energy. That was perfect timing. So, like, eat. So he's just going to eat what he's holding. Okay. That seems kind of useless to me right now. I feel like... Hold on. What's this? Energy? When placed on the work field, it'll check the charge level. If it's above 7%, they'll proceed via the upper exit if it's below. Yeah. So, I need this next because it almost seems useless to me to have a bot, like... Like, what am I going to do? Tell him at the end of his programming to go and create a, go find a coal brick, which like, you know, we can make on our own by, by doing something like this. Right. But then tell him to go find one and do that every time without a check energy level. That seems like such a waste of resources and time. Cause he'd be doing that every single end of loop, unless you copy the loop like three times or we'll put a three times repeat in there. That's part of the variables. And so we, we're just gonna have to wait for that. So I guess I just wait for the next one, but a spark seems like a pretty good thing for us to create right also let's take this bot here so can i like copy code what does this do oh geez what's happening what is this the connector is doing nothing but helps you organize your program just connect lines to it and move the connector where you want oh okay that seems okay i'm not sure what that does for me but we'll we'll see so what i want to do is set up a new system here so I want to do the same exact thing. I kind of wish I could like copy and paste the code, but maybe, maybe that's, oh wait, hold on. Copy program to craft a mate. No, that's not, I want to copy this and make an exact replica. So I'll just do this. You ready? We'll do that. Find and pick, combine, drop to, and then change this. And then I want you to go and do this after. So you'll just repeat yourself. You'll go find some more stone. You'll combine it with a coal. And then you're going to drop this over here and then you'll go to idle and continue the process. So go, uh, minimize this. He needs a little food. We'll stock him up here. There we go. He's, he's all topped off and beautiful. Okay. So now he's going to get both of these fires lit at every time. So let's get sparks. Sparks actually seems like something useful. So let's do this. So I'm going to call you, uh, we can rename him, which is nice. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Play Sparky. So what I want you to do is I want you to find and pick two rocks. Then you're going to combine them. And then I, I don't have a storage yet, so I actually can't do that. So why don't I do drop to this and then go to idle. Oh, no, I need to do two drop twos. Drop. No, I just need one. Uh, drop to. No, I already have that. Back to idle. So you're going to go find a rock in a rock that'll combine into a spark. Then you're going to drop it to here and then you'll go idle execute go. Okay. So they do mine themselves. I wasn't paying attention. So that's good. So like, I don't actually have to make a bot, a miner, which is handy. It's kind of like an obsolete code, but it could be useful in some instances, but in this instance, it works well because I can just have him create a spark like he's doing here. And then he's just going to immediately go down south and plop it into the storage here and that'll end this little system and then maybe we'll unlock like a storage box so i can put that in there and create a storage system for this unfreeze the iron okay so let's make another bonfire then so let's do this this and then that that's probably decent let's just do this manually for a second here just to see what kind of the next steps are what's up bro find two iron there you go there's your two iron 
craft two fire and steel. Okay. Let's just use up some fire that we got stored up in here. One bot is doing a good job of keeping two fires up. I think three might be the limit or just, it'll either be just the limit or just over the limit. We'll see. So oh, we need five of these, huh? Do this. Yeah, see that went out pretty fast there and it did freeze us out. Okay, good to know. Okay, um, you, no, nope, you. I want you to pause. Sorry for the sniffles. I'm a little sick now. Don't know why. Let's just get this out of here. It looks like we're getting... Maybe that's a storage chest. I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like a storage chest. Could have sworn I got four out of that, but that's okay. Take this. Yeah. You know what? Having him creating the... If I had someone creating fire and storing it, I think it'd be okay in here, but... This is storage. Okay, so. So, why don't I do this? I'm going to put a box right here. I'm going to put the other one next to it. Temporary for now. I'm going to take Sparky over here. Uh, we are going to delete your code. I don't like how big this is, but it does make sense if we can have, like, huge code. Oh, you can zoom it out, too. I, I wish I could, like, move this box down. I don't like how it takes up, like, my whole screen. I just don't like I like the game you know that's obviously what I'm trying to look at but that's me because you know it's a visual thing right so I want you to go I need you to find and pick twice and I need you to combine and then I need you to find and pick again and then I need you to combine and then I want you to drop two and then I want you to go idle so you're gonna find a rock a rock you're going to combine them and then you're going to go find coal, combine them. And then I want you to drop them in here. Can fire go in a box? It sounds stupid. It can go in a box. Okay. It's not as stupid as I thought it was. We're, we're okay, people. Fire can be stored. Unga booga. Okay. So that's good. So now we've got a fire crafter. So now I've got a place for fire. So we can also, we can take Bob the Wise here. Um, I need, man, I wish the deleting was a little faster. We got Olympus. Oh, whoa. Olympus over here. Uh, trash your code. Yeah, trash your code. Trash your code. So what I want you to do is find and pick. Find and pick. He can do... He has two things in his hands, right? So I want you to go find fire twice. I want you to... Drop to... Here. I want you to then drop to... Here. And then I want you to go find and pick another fire. And then I want you to drop that to here and then i want you to repeat to idle Go. okay minimize that also we got some things let me get this energy thing direction what's this several commands that give you more precise control over the hand manipulation to pick an object from the selected side oh that's pretty good i'm gonna hold off on that i want to get variables i understand what a variable is i think so you know variables are nodes that store values Unlocks the find command to search for selected elements. Okay. Excuse me. All right. So we need also need to make steel plates. Okay. We can do that. Okay. And oh, so now let me take, let's, let's look at lay like, Sparky up here. So if I do this energy check, right? Um, I want you to do this. I want you to do an energy check when you're done. If you're okay, go to idle. If you're low, I want you to. Find and pick one of these. And then I want you to return to idle. Okay. I'm going to keep him going. Let me make one of those myself real fast here. Eat that. Now let's get a bot for, uh, for eating, right? We need, we need tiny robot fuel, tiny robot fuel. So you are going to go find and pick two things. You are going to combine them and then we're going to store them. But the question is, do I want them up here? No, I want it over here. I think this is more central. This is very bulbous and in the, in my way right now, but I think, I think I want this here and I feel like these will block pathing, but I think here is good. This is pretty in the center. Okay. 
So let's open him back up. I want you to find this and this. Combine it. And then I want you to drop it to here. And then I want you to do an energy check. If you're okay, go idle. If your energy is low, I want you to find a brick. Eat it. Oh, did I not tell that other guy to eat it? Hold on. And then go to idle. Play Sparky. I did not tell him to eat it. I need you to eat this first and then go to idle. Thank you. I like how I can edit the code and not tell them to stop. One of the things that annoyed me in Autonauts is like I could never stop them in the middle of their code and let them resume and edit the code all at the same time. Okay, so I need um, I need our boy Olympus over here to... We need to add in a code. So I need you to do an energy check. If you're okay, go to idle. If your energy is low, I need you to find one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Eat it and then go idle. Okay. You can continue the way you were. I'm going to give you one myself. All right. He's good now. Okay. I think every, I think all of our bots have codes, right? But Sparky has his code, right? Yeah, he does. All right. So that's good. So the issue here is I think I should swap these around because look, he is stuck, right? So let me open this up. Wait, I have two code. What is this? On error, go here. Wait, on error. On error, drop the... What does this do? What is this little thing here? What is this? I don't know what that does. Is this for variables? I know that saves selected tile coordinates for further usage. Okay. I'm too dumb to know how those work, so I'm going to hold off on that. But I think I figured out how the error works. But maybe not because he's stuck still. So on error, I want you to go drop it to here. Reset it and go. I want to see if this is working. Oh, my game's paused. It probably it could have been working. The game was paused. Also, one thing hard to tell when the game's paused. I know it gives it like a little vignette on the edges here, but I'm dead set. I'm dead set on the center of my screen, and it does change the icon on the top. So, you know, on me for sure. But I, I wish it was a little more prominent. A little hard to tell because even the robots are moving. So that like really throws me off. Like he's waving at me. Olympus is like, hey boss. And then I'm like, get back to work. All right, so we got him going. Right, sir? What are, you, what are you up to over there? Is the on errors making it confused? Where is he? He's, oh, his hands are full? Reset. I'm just going to do this. Drop to here. No, no, sorry. Drop to here. Then you go here. You go here. It's a little messy, but we'll fix this. There we go. Now play it out. Now he's good. Now that's open. Now he's good. All right. Everything looks fine again. We're all fine, people. Okay. Just making sure everything's good here. So let's get a bot to make iron or some steel now, right? We've got food storage. So let's take this guy. We got we got iron lung over here. So we'll worry about these later. I don't understand how those work yet. Maybe I'll play with it. So I want you to go find and pick um, iron. Iron first. And then I want you to find and pick fire. I want you to combine. And then I want you to come and drop it to here. Then I want you to do an energy check. If you're okay, go to idle. If your energy is low, I need you to go find yourself some food. Eat that food. And then go idle. Have at it. Oh, you know what the issue here is? I'm dumb. Uh, I was trying to have this guy make iron, but we need steel plates. I did that myself, remember? So let's pause this. Let's reset the program. Let's change this to this iron, combine it, 
Let me just move this over here real quick. And then after you do a combine, what I need you to do is do another find and pick instead. And then combine and then continue on with your drop two. So then I need you to find and pick. I need him to do that twice, actually, huh? Interesting. I don't have another storage box. Do I know how to make a storage box? Storage boxes, bubbles and steel, maybe glass. Okay, so I don't know how to make a storage box. I don't think I can automate this that well because I can't have them just drop stuff because they won't stack, right? Go there, find and pick, pick from. Okay, so what I'll do instead is this. Um, I'll have him make one bar and then I want him to find another, combine them and then drop it to that and then continue, okay? So I'll have to make some myself. Like I can make a couple like this and then he'll make an object and he'll go and deposit it. So he'll make one and then I'll have, and, oh, I, what? I made a magnet? Ha! Uh, that was a uh, ore and an iron. Okay, well, I made a magnet, sick. What's this? I have to just like test things out here. Oh, that burned out. Why? What's the delay with my storage button? I feel like it sh should be depositing these just fine. Like he goes over there, he throws them in. He throws two in. Goes and gets another, throws it down here. Then he gets one more and goes, throws these in. Huh, what? Wait, why does that only... Did those not get stored? Why did that go out? What's happening here? Two. Is he taking a fire out of that? Oh my goodness. He is. Okay, so this is where a variable can come in. Oh, this, okay, so hold on. So if I want you to go find fire, right? So, so this says, tells him to find the nearest element and save its position. Well, that doesn't make sense. I can't, why can't I just tell him where it is? Because this code is definitely inefficient. I need you to stop what you're doing. So if I put this at the front here, like you do this and then you do that, right? Go. No, no, no. Stop. Reset. Let me try this. Hold on. Back down. Up. Can I do this? Like, can I drag it out to this thing? No. A node that saves selected tile coordinates for further usage. Okay, hold on. So, so we found the fire there. Okay. We went back and got one. So the issue is that when he goes and puts these second ones in, there's a fire in the campfire, an extra one. So he takes it out from there instead of going back to the storage. See, like that. So if I pause it, how do I set up a code to tell him? I need to think. I don't think this is efficient, but there's a find and drop here, which says it's the find the nearest storage. No, but I can't select it. So it says find the nearest storage with the specified type of elements or empty, but that doesn't make sense. Huh. 
So I think how I have to do this for now, maybe I'm missing a code. I definitely don't understand this. Like find the nearest element and save its position. But how does that help me? Is it this? Maybe it's this. Maybe I have to tie it with these functions. Like maybe that's how this works. Okay, let's test this then. So what I want you to do is Okay, I found a different thing. I, I think I'm overcomplicating this, but there is just a pick from that I didn't notice before. But it also has this variable thing here, so I don't know. So if I just pick from here, and then I do pick from there again, right? Oops. So I just close this thing here. There we go. So if I set up like, you know, two little pick twos here, and then I want you to uh, do two drop twos, just kind of do this right drop to here drop to there and then I need another pick from here drop to here and then I need you to do an energy check if you're okay I need you to go idle and then if your energy is low I need you to pick from here eat it and then go back to idle and have at it boss so that'll work okay so we just tell him to pick from the only issue i have with that is i kind of wish i could be like go find i want to know a code to be like go find fire in a storage unit because what if i move it now i'd have to go back and fix all that code but let's get a couple other things done here let's uh eat or get our boy eating here So he's also just kind of waiting on me. Throw a couple fires out here for him. Some things it's like, it just makes sense for me to do it myself for a little while. Cause like this is a lot faster than him. Like I just did it by, by myself, right? Then he grabs the fires, he grabs two, he goes over here. He's gonna put one in there. Puts one in here. Then he goes out. Okay, he's he's doing fine. All right, so that's done. We got another little robot here. We got two little robots. I just need storage, so we need some sand. So why don't we make another bonfire? This is all soil. That's a seed. Storage. Soil. Oh, sand is just fire and soil. Oh, okay, so sand. And then if we drag that to it, we get glass. Okay, so that's glass. That's easy. Yeah, I definitely need more storage. So we can actually do that now. But I feel like I should have a few things set up here. Olympus is like... Okay, Olympus is actually literally on fire now. He's doing these just fine. So what if I bring his code up? And then I do... Basically just want to add like one more sequence in here for him instead. So instead if I did like... Pick from... Pick from... Get rid of this. Right, change this over here like this. Change this to... Let's do this again. Change this back to here. Change this back to here. Then I want you to do two drop twos. I want you to go to here. And then I want you to go to here. So do this to this to an energy check to go. All right. So that'll add this other fire in here. So he can definitely do these four. I'm gonna have to seg segue in between these a bit to make sure we can keep these lit up. That's okay. Oh yeah, I need to do fire, fire. Plenty of fire, so there's nothing to worry about here. The issue is that setting some of these bots up now is a little hard because I don't have storage and I have so little space. So we need more campfires. So that way we can make use. 
kind of wish the campfires had a bigger radius because I feel like I'm wasting so much space. And like I could optimize them a little bit by putting them outside a perimeter. But then if they ever go cold, I need to move a, I need to move fire, move fires to make them work again. So it seems a little uh, objective there. So let's make a couple storages because I want, I want storage here. So steel plates and, and the glass we made. So I can just make those by doing this. Hey, 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 that was mine, you dickhead. So this would be fire. So up here and right here is probably a decent spot for some storage. So in here we could put glass. And maybe we have, hmm, do we think one person to make sand is enough? Like, should I stockpile sand or should I only do glass? I feel like only glass is necessary. Yeah, I think only glass is necessary. So let's make another quick bot here. I'm just going to leave the names. It's such a pain to rename them because it's so slow to keep up, which is kind of silly. Okay, so I want you to go... I need you to find and pick soil. Then I need you to pick from here. And then I need you to combine it. And then you've got another thing. And then I need you to pick from there again. Combine, drop to here. Energy check. Uh, idle, eat, pick from this, hey, oops, this, oh no, this, low to here, this, 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 and that. <clears throat> okay, then you pick from here, and then you go. Have fun. You're going to make glass, and I can just put these in by myself. He'll sit up, Iron Lung will be a little uh, confused up there for now, but that's okay. So now he's making glass. So glass is now in full production. We probably don't have enough bots making fire now. So we can set up another guy to just make some quick fire. So if he goes and, you know, find and pick. Where was it? What is it? There it is. Stone. Find and pick. Stone. Stone. Combine. Find and pick. Combine. Drop to energy check. Um, pick from eat idle. So if you're okay, do this. If you're not okay, do that. Little jumbled here, but that's okay. This drop to here. Find this, find that. So now we've got two robots out here making sparks and then finally fire as well. You can take these sparks that are just laying around for some reason out here. <clears throat> okay, so two guys are making fire pretty close. We've got these nodes here. Sad thing is they'll eventually run out. So we obviously need a solution for that in the later game, but obviously we've got other nodes around. We can move storages over here. Although that would break every single code, which is why I don't kind of like that. But I'm sure that's how the find variation works. I just have to understand the code. I hope they maybe explain a little bit. I'm like, I don't know code. So that was a little confusing to me to look at. And I still don't quite understand. But that's okay. Maybe I'll figure it out next time. So now they want the magnets. Which was... It also doesn't tell me how to make the magnets. Is it going to tell me in here? Well, I already figured it out. So I wonder if it would have told me. Because I know it's just these. You know, like, we figured that out by accident at one point. Whoopsies. Oh, good. It didn't break it. I accidentally moved that, so. And yeah, we're still not making fires fast enough, by the way. So the only thing I could think of is, like, if I had a guy making sparks and then a guy making fires off the sparks. But that seems, um... It doesn't seem nearly as good still. What's this? Edible paint? Oh! 
Oh, you can change their color. Oh, that's so nice. I'm going to save those. I don't know what I want to use for those yet. But alright, brothers and sisters, I hope you've so far enjoyed the look into this demo here. I am enjoying this as well. I can't wait to see how far this grows. And you can also see and it is slowly being terraformed. So maybe we only need the bonfires for so long until these are up and standing. And I would like to get a weight feature in. Like maybe when, you know, if these are less than 50%, go put a fire in them. You know what I mean? Like that'd be pretty nice too. But alright, brothers and sisters, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you do want to see more of this and bring this demo to a fruition... Make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave me comments as well so I can make sure we keep this series running. And make sure you're subscribed so you can find those next videos. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Do, And I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.